editing your profile in Moodle 2.0 is as simple as finding your name. Look at the top right hand side of your screen or the bottom center of your screen to locate your name. Click on it. When you land on your profile page, you'll look at it in a view mode, the way other people would see it. You can't edit anything in this mode. What's visible on this page is partly determined by your permissions in Moodle, so what role you have, whether you're an administrator or a student, and also is up to the user themselves. For example, your email address can be hidden from other users if you so choose. So how do you make changes? Locate the settings block. It may be off to one side of your screen, or you may have docked it to the top left-hand side of your screen. If that's the case, when you're on your profile page, head to your dock, drop down settings, and click edit profile. Some things you'll be able to edit on this page, like your first and last name and updating your email address. Other things like your username or password will have to be done elsewhere. Under email display, you can determine if your email address is hidden from everyone, if everyone can see it, or if only other course members can see my email address for the purposes of getting in touch with me. Other settings such as how often you're emailed and whether you're subscribed to forums and things like using a screen reader are determined here. Let me draw your attention to an often overlooked feature that I recommend you turn on in your profile. The Ajax and JavaScript editor in Moodle is known as advanced web features versus basic web features. What this will allow you to do is use advanced tools like drag and drop editing in your Moodle course. Make sure this is turned on, otherwise your editing will be a little slower and a little more cumbersome. Further down the page, you can edit your user avatar that appears next to your name in courses. Let's save it. Good work. Now, the same rule applies to other users. If you'd like to look at their profile, just find their name and click on it. Wherever anyone's name exists in Moodle, it's a link to their profile.